Hey guys, welcome back to my art desk and today I am opening the May 2023 Palletful Packs box. Got this one a little later than usual, but I'm excited to see what's inside. Alright, let's see what's in it. Oh! Okay, what is... I have never even seen this before. What is this? Woody 3-in-1 Multi-Talented Pencils and Pastel Colors. Beautiful on dark paper. I wonder if we're getting... It doesn't look like dark paper. Okay, so it looks like we've got six and a pencil sharpener maybe? Yeah, six and a pencil sharpener. So they're pastels. I feel like a crayon. I'm a little worried. It kind of looks like... I guess not worried, but it kind of looks like a kid's art. Strong covering power and intense color, even on the darkest papers in glass. Unbreakable thick wooden pencil with extra, extra large lead. Ideal for little children's hands? What? <laughs> Okay. Okay, and then we have a Faber-Castell Gelatos in the color Raspberry. Is this waxy or oily? I don't know. I'm going to have to read up what they have on this. i uh, got a couple of paintbrushes. I wonder if these are... I wonder if they're all like oil, like, um, kind of like oil pastels, because that would make more sense than crayons, because waxy wouldn't, I don't think you can really use with a paintbrush. Um, but we got a, an angle brush and a round brush. I don't even understand what I'm supposed to be doing here. Oh, okay. <laughs> a... Tombow pen, water-based, N15. Is that a gray or is that clear? Looks like it's going to be a gray color. Gray Tombow pen, so it's got the brush on one end and a little bullet nib on the other end. I don't understand. <laughs> a little sticker. A little cartoon. Oh, there's more stuff in here. Oh, I think these are um, water soluble because they have the little brush here. Two colored pencils in yellow light and umber. This is the weirdest box ever. And then the last thing in this box is watercolor paper. Okay, so I'm guessing everything in here is water soluble. Um, I will do some swatching just to kind of play around with it because I have never seen any of the supplies that are in this box before, which is actually kind of fun. I was, you know, a little worried with the kids' art supplies, but just because it's a kid art supply doesn't mean you can make something cool out of it, um, make really cool stuff with Crayola colored pencils. Um, I'm excited to swatch these out and see what we can do with them. I need to start by getting some water. Alright, so I just did some swatching, playing around with um, blending and layering, and just kind of trying to familiarize myself with these tools because I've never used them before. Um, and also I had to wait an extra day for the email to come in with my prompts for this month. So my four prompts are bubble, donut, okay and vehicle so I'll be doing one of those a week so this first week I'm going to be doing the word bubble and it would have been cool if I had black paper to just do like you know the the bubble with like the rainbow that goes around it I think that would be really cool um but I have white paper and I don't feel like coloring in the whole paper black with the pen 
I have black paper, but it did not come in the box, and I like to try to stick to using only the products in the box besides like a pencil or something. So I think what I'm going to attempt to do, go this way, I think I'm going to try to do a um, double bubble bubble gum. That seems bubbly enough. So I'm going to get that sketched out here and I'll probably switch over to a voiceover to talk about my process. So after playing around with the supplies in this month's box, I decided that for me my best workflow was going to be if I kept everything super blocky and loose rather than trying to render in the fine details. And that's mostly because of the size of the supplies that I got in the box. The the pencils were very large, the gelato stick was kind of like working with a glue stick uh, in regards to how it went down. The paintbrushes did allow me to get into some smaller areas, um, but overall my best experience was to keep everything, like I said, very loose and blocky. And I think that's a really fun art style to explore, especially after last month when I was doing the oil painting. I felt like I was really getting into the details because I could. That's what that supply um, allows me to do and these supplies seem to lend for just kind of a more quicker workflow and I think that's a nice change. Out of all of the supplies that I've worked with in this box so far, I think my favorite is the gelato stick. I just love the pigment um, that I was able to get with it. It was so bright and rich that might have been the, just the color that I got because I haven't ever worked with these before. I don't really have another one to compare it to, but I just absolutely loved how it went down and how I was able to work with it. Even though all of these art supplies are really different, um, I was worried when I opened the box that they weren't gonna work well together, but they all layered on top of each other really nice. So I started out with a pencil sketch of the bubble gum, and now I'm going in with those thicker wooden pencils and just putting in the base colors in the general area that I want them. Next I'm taking an angled flat brush here and um, just going over each area with water to smooth out the color that I had previously put down. I had to keep reminding myself at this point that I'm not trying to get everything super smooth and well blended and that it's okay if a little bit of texture comes through because that's really the effect that I wanted. Next I'm going in with a purple color here to try to add a little bit of shadows on top of the blue parts and then use an orange to shade in the yellow areas. After softening up those shadows I decided I want them to be a little bit bolder. So that's when I took the gelato stick in the color raspberry and went on top of the areas that I had started to add shadows in and that just made it pop and I love the way it turned out. Because all of the products in this box worked so well together, I was able to layer them on top of each other and build a little bit of dimension by adding in the shadows on top of the pastel that I had already put down. And I just kind of go back and forth between adding more color, blending it out a little bit, and then adding more on top of that. Not blending it out entirely to the point where it's a super soft rendering, you know, leaving, leaving my marks in there so you can see the texture as well. But just softening up around the edges wherever I feel like it needed it. And because all of the products that we got in this month's box were water soluble, I saved the black Tombow marker for the very end uh, because I didn't want it muddying up my colors as I was trying to blend things out. I hate adding in lettering to my artwork because I'm just not very good at it and I feel like it really distracts from um, the artwork itself. And I probably could have left it out because the wrapper of this particular bubble gum seems to be pretty iconic that even if the brand wasn't there, I would still know what it is. But it was too late at that point because I had, had added in the black marker. I didn't want to blend it out because then everything would just get super gray and muddy. 
I thought the piece of bubble gum was starting to look pretty good, uh, but it felt kind of empty just floating on the piece of paper. So I went in and added a dark purpley background to it, and I think that really helped the pastel colors just pop off the page even more. So that pretty much wraps up this week's video. If you want to leave a comment down below, let me know what you think. And if you enjoy the video, please give it a like. It helps other artists find my channel. My next video will be using all of these same supplies, but my prompt word will be donut. So make sure you hit the subscribe button so it's easier to find that video. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.